call the order. You got it. Uh, good morning. As a preliminary matter, this is John Brescher, Chair of the Real Estate Assessment Committee. Permit me to confirm that all members and persons anticipated on the agenda are present and can hear me. Members, when I call your name, please respond in the affirm affirmative. Uh, Penny Dye. Here. Lisa Saperstein. Here. Thomas Barretta. Here. Perfect. And staff, when I call your name, please respond in the affirmative. Erica Mooney. Present. And how should we categorize Vicki? Is she a potential? Vicky, Vicky is just Vicki Marsh of Town Council's office. Vicki, Vicki is Vicki. Okay. <laughs> Beautiful. Um, Okay. Just an anticipated yeah. speaker. You anticipated, I wasn't sure. I anticipated speaker. Okay, anticipated potential speakers. Please respond in the affirmative. Vicki Marsh. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, this open meeting of the Real Estate Assessment Committee is being conducted remotely, consistent with Governor Baker's executive order of March 12, 2020, due to the current state of emergency in the Commonwealth due to the outbreak of the COVID-19 virus in order to mitigate the transmission of the... Oh, you've got an old uh, script. That is an old script. Do we have a new one? Can I send one out to everybody? I, I, thought, it was for, I thought it was for hybrid ones. No, it's for everybody. You just go okay, ahead. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Good so afternoon. John, so, John, the rest of the script is etc. 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 Good morning. This open <laughs> this open meeting of the real estate assessment committee is be, is being conducted remotely pursuant to chapter two of the acts of 2023 ensuring public access does not ensure public participation unless such participation is required by law this meeting will let's see it oh. will feature public comment uh for this meeting the real estate assessment committee is convening by video conference via the zoom app as posted on the town's website identifying how the public may join Please note that this meeting is being recorded and that all attendees are participating by video conference. Accordingly, please be aware that other folks may be able to see you and to take care not to screen share your computer. Anything that you broadcast may be captured by the recording. All supporting materials have been provided. Members have been provided. Members of this body are available on the uh, available on the town's website unless otherwise noted. The public is encouraged to follow along using the posted agenda unless the chair notes otherwise. Now let's go over some ground rules. We're turning to the first item on the agenda. Before we do so, let's go. Let's cover some ground rules. The chair will introduce each speaker on the agenda after they conclude their remarks. The chair will go down the line of members, inviting each by name to provide any common questions or motions. Please hold until your name is called. Further, please remember to mute your phone or computer when you're not speaking. Please remember to speak clearly and in a way that helps generate accurate minutes. For any response, please wait until the chair yields the floor to you and state your name before speaking. If members wish to engage in a conversation with other members, please do so through the chair, taking care to identify yourself. And for items with public comment, after members have spoken, the chair will afford public comment to those members of the public who, that have joined the meeting via Zoom. Members of the public who wish to speak must state their names and be acknowledged by and speak through the chair. And finally, each vote taken in this meeting will be conducted by roll call vote. Thank you. Good for us. Okay. So let's go to the first item on the, uh, well, we did the call to order. So may I have a motion to accept the, uh, approve and accept the agenda as written? That's a move. Okay, we got a motion by Tom, seconded by Penny. We'll do roll call vote uh, for all those in favor. Or for any further discussion on the motion? Hearing none, let's go roll call vote. Uh, Penny Dye. Aye. Saperstein. Aye. Thomas Barretta. Aye. The chair, John Brescher, votes aye as well. Okay. Uh, actually, uh, actually, John, I wasn't fast enough. There is no item following this on approval of minutes. Um, and since that's really part of the agenda, uh, perhaps we can go on the record as to whether or not there are any minutes to be approved. I can I may I speak? Please. Um, I didn't put approval of minutes on the record because I don't have any to present to you. Um, I don't know where those would be at this moment. So that's why I didn't bother putting it on. I wondered, thank you. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Um, okay, next item on the agenda is public comment. Seeing as there are no members of the public present, let's move on to uh, the bulk of our agenda, the real estate matters. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, Vicki, thank you for joining us. Do you want to? Do you, would you like to introduce these, or should Erica, or do you want me to take a stab? How do you? I, how mean, do I, can, do? I can introduce them. Which one do you want to discuss? I, I don't. Know. We're going to do the. We're going to do the water man easement first. Can okay. I just do a little, a quick little? Sure, go ahead. Yeah. yeah. Just so mm -hmm. I'm, I'm assuming everybody knows, but just in case you don't, the town is undertaking a water main project west of the airport. It'll include 
um, Monahansett Road, Orkawa Ave, Lover's Lane, the private portions of Lover's and Orca, which are like the little dirt stubs, um, the remaining portion of Skyline Drive that wasn't done under the airport's water main project, and then Webster Road, and then Nobodier Way is also part of that water main project. Um, the water easements that was um, approved to move forward on this by Article 96 of the 2023 Annual Town Meeting allows us just to literally run the infrastructure within the private roadways. This doesn't, you know, the public roadways aren't included in this um, on Skyline Webster, Monahansett, Orkawa, um, so that we can construct, inspect, repair, renew, replace, just basically we'll do that. And it's not taking fee in the roadways at all. It is just so we can deal with public municipal water in these areas that have been facing some contamination issues. Um, so that was my intro, Vicki, you go ahead. You did a great job. I, mean, <laughs> I don't know if there's if anyone has any questions. Um, I mean, I, I you know, um, the only thing I'll add is, so you have before you some plans that are showing actually um, the You're railway. Here. Can everybody see that okay? Yep. Okay, so. So these are just the private road stubs of Monahansett and Orqua. Webster between Skyline and Monahansett. Mm -hmm. Skyline between Orkawa and to Woodland. And then this is the Skyline Drive part that happened under the airport project, but they did not, um, they were told that they did not need easements in order to put this infrastructure in a private roadway in which they had no legal rights to. Um, so now we get to deal with that. Um, actually, I, I have a question. Has anybody, has anyone from the public spoken against this? I know, I, I know that, I know this has been sort of, a, I want to say a long time coming, but it's been, you know, for, for a number of years, um, I think, what, what, what years, what year was article nine, uh, 2023? 2023. Um, no, it approved, was approved unanimously at 2010, 2023 annual town meeting. Nobody called the article. So it was approved as, um, noted in the finance committee motion. Um, we have had some public project meetings about this. Yeah. Um, I would say the majority of the people are, are interested in having municipal water go there. There are some concerns just about private costs of connection, mm -hmm. but you know, they're, they're not having to pay for any of the infrastructure going into the roadway. Everybody is gonna get a stub along these roadways. Um, so I think we only received one real comment of concern about it, but it was more so why didn't the airport pay for my water connection? My wife has cancer. Um, and that was part of the airport project, not yep. part of this. Um, gotcha. we do have a public hearing scheduled for next week, June 28th. So we'll see if anybody uh, else comes for that and has any comments. Uh, Lee, you, Lee, you have your hand up. I do, and I think Erica pretty much answered my question, which was uh, the private costs associated with connecting a residence to uh, to the water main. That will be <clears throat> the responsibility of the homeowner, is what I heard Erica say. Correct. Uh, an interesting uh, side issue, which probably has nothing to do with our vote, which, by the way, I'm all in favor of this. Um, it strikes me that town water will raise the value of property by a little or a lot. I'm not sure. Don't know. De development as well, but that's yeah. there. I will note that um, we did order an appraisal um, for these takings of water easements. Um, the the values I think to each property is a, is a, do a dollar. Um, because it was deemed the value that these owners are receiving greatly outweighs any um, mm -hmm. any impacts to them by the takings. Well, especially especially because it's on the private roads too. Mm -hmm. 
not really going off their property. Okay, uh, any other questions or comments from board members? Uh, I have a question. Sure, Thomas. Uh, are we going to be putting in ample supply of hydrants along the lines of this yes. project? Yes. Okay. Um, I don't know if you've driven down Skyline Drive, but when um, when that section of the project went through, and on Monahan's it too, from I think it went from like um, Evergreen mm -hmm. up to the airport fence. Um, there are, I would say on Skyline alone, there's got to be at least five or six just between the cul-de-sac on the airport end to Woodland Drive. Okay, just, just um, make I it think, sure. I think they have to have them every X number of feet, 100 feet, you know, X yep. number of 100 feet. Yep. So yep. They, they are definitely doing that. Okay, just confirming that, that's all. Okay. Uh, all right, any other comments or questions from board members? All right, hearing none, uh, what type, before we get to some, I assume you're looking, uh, yes, Vicki? Well, I just wanted to let you know, so you do not have copies yet of those orders of taking which are being prepared. Right. Mm -hmm. So there will be orders of taking that will be brought before um, the select board next week, um, and they will also name all of the abutters to all of these rooms, just so you know, and that no damages, as Erica had outlined, will be assessed and awarded um, from the orders. And, and in sort of in the interest of uh, full disclosure, uh, I have clients who are going to be subject to these, uh, some, some in favor, some, I want to say not in favor, but they're nervous. Um, but uh, that being said, what type, Erica, and Vicki, what type of motion would you be looking for to uh, that the Real Estate Assessment Commission Committee is endorse or recommending that the select board take these perpetual water easements by eminent domain? Is that you could say that, yeah. That was, is, that, is, that, is that what the select board yeah. is going real, We're really looking for a recommendation to the select board. That is it you, like motion to endorse or something? Yeah. yeah. Well, well, Yes, yes, Lee. Since we're advisory to the select board, uh, we're giving positive advice on, on this uh, particular action. Fair enough. Uh, Penny. Yeah, yeah. Are we are we taking anything? It's in public road. No, it's in the public roadways. This is only for the private roadways. Private. Okay. Got Skyline it. Webster, the in the stub yep. ends of Orkawa and Monahansett. All right. Okay. So so then can will someone please make a motion? to recommend that the select board uh, take by eminent domain a perpetual water easement or other interest for, in, in, for the purpose of improving the town's water system? I'm glad uh -huh. you did the whole thing, John, so I can say, so moved. Second. Motion made in the second. Any further discussion on the motion? All right, hearing none, we'll, go, we'll do roll call vote. Uh, Penny Dye. Aye. Lee Saperstein. Aye. Thomas Barada. Aye. And John Brescher, the chair votes aye as well. Okay, uh, yard sales. So next item is the conveyance, ooh, we do like conveyances, of lot A on Atlantic Ave for 2,073 square feet. Um, so lot A is here. Help me out, lot A is- hey, right, oh, the bottom. Bottom. Okay. Mm -hmm. right there. Sorry, I should have colored them. Yeah, I, I've, I've done my homework. So after the presentation, John, I do have a few questions. Okay, well, uh, who would like, to, would anybody? Vicki, do you want to just do A, B, and D all kind of all together since it's all the sure. same map and yeah. all the yeah. same article? Yeah, I can give you a history too. So, so um, lot A is, um, well, first of all, this project came together because um, all of these property owners, you know, came to an agreement. There are a couple of easements that ultimately will be conveyed out afterwards. Um, but in the meantime, um, lot A is being conveyed to um, the land bank um, for uh, purposes um, that are authorized pursuant to their enabling authority. Um, lot B is um, gonna be conveyed to the um, property owner to the right. 
okay, it's F next. And lot D is gonna be conveyed to the um, property owner to the north, the Decibios. Um, and so all of these, as you can see, they're all abutters to these properties. Um, lot B will be, well, um, the uh, Zevnex will be granting an easement over for lot B to the land bank um, for uh, access um, purpose, just pedestrian access. Um, and um, so they've all agreed to this. The, the, um, all of the deeds are done pursuant to the yard sale program. Um, the parcels that are being conveyed need to be combined with the existing property that um, the property owners already own. They are for non-residential purposes um, and they all um, are subject to the same restrictions in the yard sale that they cannot be subdivided um, or um, have any additional proposed lots um, without having the select board's permission prior consent in order to be able to do so. Um, so they need to be remaining as one lot. Um, you know, the purchase prices were established pursuant to um, the price factors that are for this neighborhood. Um, and I reviewed that yes. with the town assessor. And um, so the prices are based upon um, the price factor plus the uh, times the um, square footage. Um, the only one that did not have um, a, you know, a purchase price is the conveyance to the land bank, um, as this is going to be used for um, public purposes for open space um, and access as needed. So, um, I don't well, know. Well, Rick is not quibbled, but I think it says a dollar. A dollar, correct. <laughs> Provides revenue anyway, but yes. <laughs> minimum. Um, Lee, uh, you said, do you, do you still have a question? Oh, yes. Um, and then uh, we'll do Vic, Vicky was getting close to it. So the, the simple question is lot C. Um, mm -hmm. what, is, what is the uh, disposition of that? Uh, or no disposition, and it remains in the town? So lot C, um, because lot C's about are, is, are the Kindermans, they would have the right to be able to acquire this if they so desire. Um, as of now, I have we have not heard that they are going to purchase that. However, if they do not purchase it, then the owners of um, lot B um, are interested in purchasing it and they would acquire it from the town. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. The other thing, Vicki, is you, you, you did talk about um, assessed values. Um, we've been discussing in the uh, committee what is the appropriate price per square foot. So um, it would just be of, of interest to know what the price per square foot and the factor, because um, it looks like it's coming out at something less than two. It is. It's a dollar ninety, I believe. <laughs> that works. And I, as I said, I got that from the town assessor's office. Um, yeah. Um, Erica, we, we, we know that things have been changing and it's put a lot of burden on the, on the people remaining. But at one time we did get a spreadsheet with um, price per square foot is set by the committee um, factor, then the um, total and then square feet and price so that we, we could see all that. Was that when Eleanor was working with you? Yes. yes okay. Eleanor move, yep. Um, let's let I'll make a note of that and see if we can get back to that for future meetings. Sure, sure. I, I, Erica, I nice understand. <laughs> you um, are you you are the Zoom Meister. Um, <laughs> because, uh, I I've had a couple of meetings that have been delayed while people try to get Erica to connect this up. Um, Penny, my question was also about lot C. It's been answered. Thank you. So so I have, I actually have a question. Believe it or not. Um, I sort of know, but I don't totally know. Is it is it our is it the town's policy not to restrict any of the land bank properties? I mean, I, I know for practical purposes, land bank's not going to subdivide lot A, 
I also know they're not going to, you know, use it for commercial purposes. But the land bank charter can be brought at times, you know, look, looking at sort of a sconset playground. Um, is there, have we restricted any of these transfers to land bank in the past? I, I honestly don't remember because we don't do them very often. I don't know that I, again, given, given the location, the size, the circumstances, I don't know that I care a lot um, if we do, but I just want to, uh, I want to do my due diligence and be thorough and at least bring that question up. So um, we, we have, put certain restrictions on the, on some of the property that we have um, conveyed to the land bank. Some of it has come through um, special legislation. Um, and so those restrictions, such as it has to be for open space or mm -hmm. it has to be for recreation. Um, so those, those restrictions are placed on them. Um, but there are circumstances where um, th this property abuts existing property and um, it can provide access for open space, you know, as is the case here, really. Um, it's just really a small, as you can see, it's a very small area that runs off of. Um, uh, ag ag agree agreed. And I mean, does the, I mean. If they were to change their use or yeah. divide their property um, in such a way that, um, you know, it may affect Article 97, they would have to go and file Article 97 legislation with the legislature. So they are restricted in right. and of itself, you know. Um. Right. Jo John, it, it, it's uh, actually a very valid and interesting question uh, because there's a huge transfer that's about to occur uh, along the waterfront. Um, there's town land on the harbor that's going to become land bank land. Um, and I'm presuming that the land bank rules and charter uh, would apply to these lands. I mean, I, I think I think they have to, I guess. The, in, I mean, <coughs> I think the only the only difference here is that it's not. We, we've been fairly consistent with putting these restrictions on for private homeowners. And I just want to sort of make it known that we're not putting the restrictions on because it's the land bank and they are bound by their own charter and rules and regulations. And again, I, whatever our concerns are with sort of the private homeowner, I don't think they apply to the land bank. I mean, for instance, we're, I don't believe there's anything in here requiring them to, to merge the property. And there's, well, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't, again, I don't know that it matters. No, I mean, I mean, you know, for all practical purposes, first of all, they can't use their property for commercial purposes or right. um, or even residential purposes. I mean, you know, so um, those right. are restrictions that are in normal yard sale deeds uh -huh. um, that they have to use it for residential purposes. So that's not allowed. Um, again, if they were to subdivide, they're going to have to deal with um, the fact that it's um, Article 97 land. I mean, there's, you know, they they are already restricted. And so this land is already um, restricted by virtue right. of the purchase. I mean, it's, it's, and I guess the, the, the only sort of nuance would be they would still be allowed recreational purposes. Yeah. I don't know what you would think was going to happen there, but. Um, I, I, I don't, I don't think any, I don't think, <laughs> yeah, I don't think anything given, given the size, location, et cetera, but. That's right. Again, bring, uh, just bring it up. So, so there's another interesting question. Lot A is not contiguous with uh, land bank land. That's a paper road, Atlantic Avenue going up through there. Oh, interesting. Interesting point. And this, I believe, is... It's the railroad bed, right? It's the railroad, railroad bed, yeah. which is owned yes. by the town. Yes. So yeah. where they're buying is right here. It's adjacent right. to yours, but it's, right. it's divided by oh, um, right. this other piece and then um, the railroad bed. Right. Now, I was going to ask the question that Matt Fee always asks in the select board meetings. Have you reviewed this in terms of coastal resiliency and how this could impact if there's, you know, huge erosion out here? I'm assuming because it's so far away from the yeah. beach, it's not an, that's not an impact here. 
but I don't know. I want to bring it up because I know he'll, he brings it up. I don't, I don't think so. I, I would do, I would defer frankly to Ken to see when he, uh, that he asks coastal resiliency when these things come up. I, I per personally, I think it's a moot point given. Oh, I thought you guys discussed it here. No, he checks with crack. I think he, I think he checks with crack. Okay. I mean, yeah. I'd be happy to check with um, Vince. Yeah. I think he may Vince not be a bad idea. Vince isn't the guy anymore. It's Leah. So oh, okay. I can send her this stuff and, and ask her. If, if you wouldn't mind, I mean, I, th I think that's probably a. a probably I just want to be prepared idea. when we yep. present this next e week. E exactly. Yep. All right. Uh, does anybody have any other comments, questions, concerns? whatever about these three dispositions yeah uh john i, I yes, i'm not yet making a motion but when we do i think it one motion covers uh a b and d i agree i agree um all right not hearing uh, that i have not i have not heard any other comments questions etc uh will somebody please make a motion to recommend to the select board that we convey parcel lot A, lot B, and lot D, all on plan number 2023-17 uh, in accordance with the pricing recommended by the assessor's office. Penny, it's your turn. So moved. Second. <laughs> motion made and second. Is there any further discussion on the motion? All right, hearing none, let's do roll call vote. Uh, Penny Dye. Aye. Lisa Aperstein. Aye. Tom Barrett. Aye. And the chair, John Brescher, votes aye as well. All right. Before you adjourn, can you tell me just tell me who seconded? I missed that. Uh, Lee seconded that one. Thank you. Um, next item is any other business. Does anyone have any other business? I do. Um, thank you, Penny and Rhoda, who is not here for your years of diligent service on the Real Estate Assessment Committee. Um, thank you. It's been thank a you. pleasure. It's been a pleasure having you. Uh, I'm sorry that you're not re-upping uh, the, the town and by extension our committee really appreciates your years of service on our our little our little committee that we've tried to disband yeah. <laughs> thank you thank you so much thank, thank you my pleasure thank you um so hopefully the minutes will reflect that all right uh not hearing that i haven't heard any other business any other other business uh can someone please make a motion to adjourn at i'll, make, I'll make it please do penny at 11 i'll make the motion to adjourn this meeting Okay, yeah. motion move. Is there a second? Second. Okay, motion made a second. We'll do roll call vote. Penny Dye? Aye. Lisa Saperstein? Aye. Tom Barretta? Aye. And the chair, John Brescher, votes aye as well. Okay. Well, thank, thank you all thank so you much everybody. for having thank this you. special thank meeting. Okay. I appreciate so, it. All right. Good Take to care, see everyone. you. And thanks for doing it from England, Lee. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> this is our pad in London. <laughs> Take care. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.